Good morning. Welcome back to Morning at NTV. My name is Malaki Vilaudera and today the focus is on you, the farmer, you in agriculture. How best can you increase your output? How best can you get tips on how to, you know, expand your output and expand your professionalism in that area? And in studios to speak more about that is Matthew Kabalega, who is the head of marketing at WeFarm. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And, uh, good morning, viewers. Good morning. Thank you so much for making time. We Farm is doing great things for the farmer in Uganda. Mm. Tell us more about it. Yes. So basically, uh, We Farm is um, the world's largest farmer to farmer digital network. And uh, we've been in Uganda since uh, late 2015. And uh, what basically we do is we offer a farmer solution to information uh, that they would not regularly receive and how we do that is we provide uh, a mobile network for them to interact with other farmers who have been more experienced in some of the things that they've been farming in mm -hmm. uh, so that they can get information and that is through their mobile phone free of charge absolutely free of charge so what that does is for smallholder farmers uh, especially who are really more affected by uh, you know distances um, they're able just at the touch of a button to send a question uh, to another farmer um, um, regarding any challenge they're facing within their, uh, within their farming setting. Could be something about animals, could be something about, uh, you know, maize, matoke, uh, you know, millet, you name it. Mm -hmm. uh, they basically send a question through our network and that question is received by another farmer in another location, but that farmer uh, will actually be someone who is very experienced uh, within um, uh, the field of the question that is being answered. Mm -hmm. So what you then get is a response uh, to the farmer in need uh, to their issue, and that happens uh, within a short period of time. And what and what the result is, is this farmer can then be able to uh, find a solution to their challenge. You said that the sending of this SMS is free of charge. Yes. How does that work? So basically, um, 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 the farmer, um, if I were to go into detail, uh, would basically have their phone, go to the SMS, uh, 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 their SMS feature on their phone, and send. Uh, basically, they'll have to join the mm -hmm. network first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to join the network, they have to just go to their phone, go to the messages section, type join Uganda, J-O-I-N, Uganda, and send that to 6333. That is on available on MTN and Airtel. And then that message goes free of charge. What they do get back is an acknowledgement that they have now uh, joined the WeFarm uh, network and WeFarm family. And uh, they get to input additional information basically about their name, uh, where they're from, and what they grow. Mm -hmm. And that is then sent back. After that, they can then start asking questions. And all these transactions, uh, uh, this messaging, is actually at no cost to the farmer. So we bear the cost of the SMS to enable the smallholder farmer to actually have access to life-changing agricultural information mm -hmm. that will be very critical uh, in their setting. So you can imagine a farmer who's deep in the hills in Kanungu or someone who is by the lake shore side uh, in Mukono Katosi, you know, that person doesn't have access uh, to agricultural information that right. would, save, uh, would save them from a prevailing challenge. Yeah. Is it just that or mm. what exactly inspired this creation? What exactly inspired you guys to get into that space that I don't think many people are in currently? So that's a fantastic question. So basically, um, um, WeFarm was founded in 2015. Yes. And really the basis or the inspiration behind WeFarm was that um, there was, there was actually a gap, an information gap uh, within smallholder farmers. And smallholder farmers being actually making up the majority of uh, farmers globally, yes. uh, not, only, not only locally in Uganda, uh, are a very key cog in ensuring uh, food security and food sustenance, right? And, and, and basically to support uh, the farmer get through their need, get through their access to information that could enable them to increase their yield, which means increase their livelihoods, which means gives them a better life. Uh, WeFarm was inspired to actually uh, come up with this uh, product, right? 
come up with this product that would then solve the challenge that we saw. Mm -hmm. Many, many smallholder farmers have no access to information, go through challenges. They actually basically go through an experience of having to go through waste, having to lose their animals, right? right? And they find out much later on that, oh, this could have been avoided by this information, probably by visiting an, an agrovet maybe in the town or from another you know, farmer maybe at a family function or gathering. And we sought to plug this gap. And, 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 and that is really the, the inspiration behind it, mm. being able to connect farmers. And we believe no one knows more, yes. right? Especially within smallholder farming mm -hmm. than farmers themselves. Because what it does is it connects farmers to farmers for them to share their experiences right. together. Right. Yeah. Because since, yeah. Mm -hmm. since inception, um, mm -hmm. how many farmers have you been able to bring on to this particular you know, provision? Well, uh, currently we are close to 400,000 farmers um, uh, in Uganda. Mm -hmm. However, we have uh, we have we also have presence in Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, and and we also have a good number of, uh, of farmers in there. But within Uganda, it's uh, 400,000 farmers. 400,000 yeah, farmers. and counting. And counting. Yeah, and yeah. you're also in other countries, like you said, Kenya as well. Yes, it's, it's just Uganda and, uh, and, and, Kenya, uh, and Kenya. And Kenya. And yeah. Kenya. I'm interested to know, before we get into the nitty gritties, mm -hmm. I'm interested to, know, uh, um, to, to, to get this information from you. You said that it is free for these farmers to be able to exchange uh, this advice yeah. from, you know, to each other. Mm -hmm. Then how do you make your money? If everything is free for me as a farmer, yes. I'm gaining all the knowledge I yes. need. How do you make your money? That's a very that's a very good question. So basically, we farm is a social enterprise, and we are funded uh, uh, we're funded basically by uh, venture capital farms mm -hmm. uh, based in, in Europe that have a vested interest in actually uh, uh, guiding or empowering the agricultural sector within. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, and that's why they actually bought into uh, what our vision was and what our product was, and they have guaranteed uh, sustainable uh, funding to enable this actually go through mm -hmm. uh, for foreseeable future. So that's how uh, we are funded, but we do not make uh, basically a profit uh, from 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 you know the services that we do because mm -hmm. we're basically a social enterprise. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay. We don't necessarily, we're not profit generating in terms of benefiting from the farmer. Mm -hmm. So we are here to provide a free service uh, to the farmer. That's noted. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you ensure that the people who get onto this provision mm -hmm. are genuinely farmers? Mm -hmm. Because we've seen instances where if these groups are created, <coughs> we have people coming in mm -hmm. with different intentions mm -hmm. that are not necessarily positive mm -hmm. intentions. Mm -hmm. How then do you ensure that quality is maintained? Mm -hmm. How do you vet the people who get into that platform? Thank you very much for asking that question, a very fantastic question. So basically how uh, we recruit farmers is um, twofold. So um, one, there is recruitment through some youth, ambas uh, youth ambassadors. We have a youth ambassador program. And uh, through that way we look to actually give back to society mm -hmm. by empowering youth who are unemployed. Mm -hmm. We get them onto, um, um, into our company, mm -hmm. we train them. Uh, on how to engage farmers, how to identify farmers, how to recruit farmers onto our network. And these youth ambassadors actually go to the field and recruit farmers door to door. So it's a very personal uh, connection mm -hmm. with the youth ambassadors and the farmer. And that is how the vetting is done um, <coughs> at that stage. So these are um, basically uh, located in various areas around Buganda and um, let's say Ankole, Bunyoro, the basically West, Greater West is covered and parts of um, the East Busoga region and just touching a bit into, uh, slightly into um, Bale. Yeah, so we have youth ambassadors who go farmer to farmer within those rural settings mm -hmm. to actually engage and see that they're actually recruiting farmers. Mm -hmm. We obviously also have some presence on uh, media um, like radio, uh, like some television, uh, but the vetting at that stage is also twofold. Um, you realize when you join the network, so for example, like I said, SMS join Uganda to 6333, you get an acknowledgement message that actually asks you 
to give now your name, yeah. where you are, your location, as well as what you farm in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then throughout that process of, we, uh, after you've joined, we start to monitor what is your activity like, okay? On you've that said network. You, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, uh, on the network. Yes. So what is your activity like? So we get to now to understand what your relationship is. Because if you say it, um, um, you specialize in um, tomato farming, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. we, we, we don't expect to see questions around uh, you're looking for a bag of cement or, you know, for example, you're looking for directions to the nearest mall. Uh, you know, we then start to sieve. And that by that, we, we get to have a base of basically farmers dealing in several aspects. So the number one uh, check, obviously, our youth, youth ambassadors who go farmer to farmer, that, that one is more direct because basically you know who is a farmer and who is not. Right. But also secondary, um, our, our network through their response and through getting some of your data helps us to understand um, you know, who this is, what do they farm, where are they from. Mm -hmm. yeah? Where are they from. Exactly, mm -hmm. or where are they farming because you cannot be, for example, a farmer and you're based in Central Business District. Right. Yeah, you yeah. can say you're growing tomatoes and you're based at the conference center, for example. So mm -hmm. we'll get to know through our system who is a farmer and who is not. So you're big on monitoring. Exactly. And ensuring and that there's quality standards. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and, and similarly, actually, <laughs> similarly, uh, you actually also have um, um, the same monitoring going through the questions. Mm -hmm. So it's farmer to farmer, you might ask. So a farmer sends a question to another farmer through our network. He's expecting to get an answer. Now, once we receive that question, say it's a question on tomato blight, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. or banana wilt. Mm -hmm. That question goes specifically to the farmers who say they grow bananas. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, so I don't have to get any information that I don't need exactly. if I'm in that network. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So basically, your farmer is going to have his questions answered by people who are more experienced and farming in that particular question that he has asked. Mm -hmm. So what what then happens is those farmers receive a question. So it's t it's twofold. Our network enables farmers to ask questions, but it also enables farmers who are more experienced to answer questions free of charge still. I get you. So it's a win-win. And those questions are then sent back as answers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But they're filtered. So there's another secondary there's level. There's that as well, because yes. I was about to ask you, how then do you, because these farmers are just farmers who mm. are experienced, yes. and that's it. Mm -hmm. They've been maybe in the field mm -hmm. for X amount of years, mm -hmm. and so they've accumulated X amount of experience, and yes. so they're in a position to advise. Yes. But you see, mm -hmm. at times, these are not experts. Mm -hmm. At times, when I even come to you for advice, yes. you end up giving me you know, answers mm -hmm. based on what you feel, myths that you believe in, yes. and so forth. So that was key for you to come out with. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that you always check through the answers. You filter the answers that are given. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So we have a team of agricultural experts okay. based at our office and they actually filter mm -hmm. the messages to make sure that the farmer who is receiving an answer gets an answer that speaks to him or is adequate or makes sense basically. Right? Mm -hmm. So that is also another quality check uh, that we have in there to make sure that uh, farmers actually receiving uh, good information mm -hmm. and the information that will help them overcome their challenge. Yeah. Do your engagements stop at that, mm -hmm. at the network alone, or do you also go on ground? We actually do go on ground. So basically we have presence, um, like I said, the first level of on ground uh, presence is through our youth ambassadors. Right. Uh, right. And those go uh, farmer to farmer, basically. Secondary, uh, secondly, we, we actually have um, uh, presence at expos. Uh, so we attend various expos around the country. Mm -hmm. um, this one starting um, very soon, actually today, the mm -hmm. Ginger Agricultural uh, Expos, also the Nile. So we attend those as well. And all these expos are <coughs> littered around the country. Mm -hmm. And they give us an opportunity for our farmers to actually interact with us. Um, you know, come over and say, hey, we've joined We Farm. Uh, we've got very many farmer testimonies, people coming on board and saying, this, this has been fantastic for us. We're trying to tell our people about it as well. Mm -hmm. And also a chance to actually engage other farmers. So we're on ground uh, through expos. 
we are on ground through our youth ambassadors. We are on ground. We actually attend some uh, farm clinics as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and farm group meetings as well. So we are actually on ground. You are on ground. Mm -hmm. The other question that is critical that I feel um, needs to be brought to the fore mm -hmm. is, uh, fine, you've given me this network that I get rich, you know, kind of information and mm -hmm. advice on how to increase my output mm -hmm. as a farmer, best practices, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So after that, fine, I'll have all this. There's an issue of wastage. Mm -hmm. I get this amount of output per year or per whatever period there is. Mm -hmm. What then do I do? Do you give me tips on marketing, mm -hmm. getting access to the market? I love that you've raised tips yes. because we actually <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you, 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 it's like you're in my mind mm -hmm. so basically uh, uh, we actually give farmer tips as mm. well right we have um, and, and you're using all the right words actually engagement so how do we seek to engage our farmers besides uh, providing them with an avenue uh, to ask questions, uh, some of them to answer questions. We engage them by giving regular farming tips about things to do with prevailing challenges. So, for example, uh, uh, a tip of the day could be um, there's an outbreak of uh, the fall army worm in your area. Make sure you've taken these measures uh, to protect your, uh, your harvest from this kind of thing or the weather pattern is changing, we're mm -hmm. expecting heavy rains. Um, this is what you should expect in the next few days. Um, so those come in form of SMS, because remember, to receive this, you have to be on our yeah, network. Yeah, the network, yes. Yes, exactly. So these come in form of SMSs, obviously, uh, free of charge at no cost. Mm -hmm. And this is how we look to engage our farmers. So it's not only uh, providing them with an avenue to ask questions and actually send answers, but it's also, um, you know, additional value in the sense that we engage them through giving them some farmer tips regularly. Mm -hmm. And this includes how to access the market. We have received questions uh, right. on our network about how to access the market. Yes. Uh, my produce is here. And, and you I, know I, the I, I can't eat it all. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I need to and, sell and it. Yes, and the beauty with it is that uh, you know, initially we, we thought, oh, uh, you know, we should have like specific uh, answers or contacts available. But the moment that question is asked, you actually get um, <laughs> a lot of feedback from because remember, it's a network of farmers. So you might be a farmer somewhere struggling uh, in a rural part of uh, uh, Mokono Katosi, and uh, there's a farmer who is in Lugazi, uh, for example, who is also on our network, and you're asking, so I have a harvest of tomatoes. Uh, what can I do? Uh, uh, wh where can I go? And this farmer in Lugazi is also growing tomatoes, but he's close, obviously, uh, to uh, or has had more engagement with people who buy the produce. Mm -hmm. They quickly exchange this information, so that information exchange is ongoing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely uh, also a fantastic avenue for uh, farmers to find out that kind of information or linking them to ma to the marketplace as well through our existing farmers. Okay, I'm sure that uh, you are still, you know, finding ways on how to add more value to the farmers that are already in your network, even Indeed. for the new ones that will join in. Indeed. What plans do you foresee yourself getting into or executions that you see yourself getting into in terms of value addition mm -hmm. moving forward? Well, that's a fantastic question. Uh, we're, we're, we're basically at the stage where we're monitoring uh, what our farmers' needs are. Obviously, right now, there's a lot of data that the farmer sent through. You get uh, through a lot of data, right, uh, with all this information exchange. So mm -hmm. you get to understand, okay, so what are, the, what are the most frequently asked questions in which topic, in which area? So we're at the point of monitoring all this information so that we can see what other value plates, uh, value addition uh, can be uh, extended to these farmers. Marketplace is a good uh, is good place to start, right? In terms of you ask a question about how do you link them to the marketplace, mm -hmm. that is one area that we are um, you know looking into as a possible uh, avenue to strengthen um, um, uh, value addition to our farmers. But obviously, through the data that we are looking through and the insights that we'll get from that, we'll be able to um, identify various ventures. We have obviously a pipeline of uh, things that we're looking at commercially mm -hmm. that uh, I cannot reveal at the moment, <laughs> yeah? But yes. we're, it's, it's definitely um, something that we're, we're looking at in the future. Okay, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> you, you, you spoke about the marketplace, but also key to note, there's this other aspect of financing, mm -hmm. financial literacy. Mm -hmm. 
Are you looking at that as well? Because farmers, so to speak, most of them, especially in the rural areas, don't mm. have this information. Mm -hmm. Is there a space? Is that a space that you want to get into as well? Uh, specifically in terms of financial literacy, do you mean like access to financing for them? And not really, just mm. giving them information or on just how they can go about them, yes. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, mm. yeah, just, okay. Yeah, it's also something, I mean, uh, it's, 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 like I said, it's uh, something that we're looking at. It's one of the needs that yes, is there. We yes, actually yes, do yes, see it. You actually I write, can imagine, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, financial literacy is actually something uh, crucial. So it's one of the things that we're actually looking at. How to do it is what we're trying to um, figure actually out. figure out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's definitely one of the needs that we have picked up uh, from you know the farmers on the network, and uh, it, it's something we're definitely looking into. So it sounds like you're you're you're, sm <laughs> you're a farmer yourself. You, you know, you have all the yes, I'm a farmer. Right so questions. that's why so I'm very interested mm -hmm. in. This. Yeah, you Thank, you so our <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you so much for coming welcome. in studios. Before we close, do you mm -hmm. have closing remarks? Well, I'd just like to say um, and encourage uh, you know so many of the uh, farmers out there who are struggling with information, both smallholder farmers and uh, these days we also have corporate farmers. I'm yes. told, uh, you know, it's a growing trend. So agriculture is definitely the way to go. And um, if you um, actually you actually need the information, so please. Uh, feel free to join our network um, on WeFarm. Just send Join Uganda. Go to your SMS, type Join Uganda, send that to 6333, and you'll be able to access a wealth of information and experience uh, uh, various um, you know, interactions with farmers who have probably gone through the same challenge that you're currently facing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're here to stay, we're here to help, and uh, yeah. Join WeFarm. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you so you much for, for that me. insight. Yeah. Yes, so a big number of us are in agriculture. Statistics show that over 80% are employed in the agricultural sector. So that's a space you would need to maybe be keen on and maybe look at what they have to offer. Free information, it's free of charge. So let's share that information. Let's make each other better in this best practices in agriculture. That has been it for the solution segment. Up next is Take Note.